Oncogenesis is the formation of cancer. It occurs as a result of the fine balance between life and death being tipped in favour of life. This leads to uncontrolled cell proliferation. This uncontrolled cell proliferation means that faulty cells that would have been swiftly apoptosed continue to live, becoming cancerous. This uncontrolled cell proliferation is the result of two abnormal processes occurring simultaneously. The first process involves oncogenes that promote deranged cell proliferation. The second process involves mutated tumour suppressor genes that inhibit cell death. Let's look at oncogenes first. Normally, within the chromosomes of our cells, we have proto-oncogenes. These encode for a wide range of proteins, including those that regulate cell growth and differentiation. A trigger causes these proto-oncogenes to become abnormal oncogenes. The result is the promotion of deranged cell proliferation. Note how this mutation occurs in just one single allele. Now let's look at the second contributor to oncogenesis, the mutated tumour suppressor genes. Normally within our chromosomes we have tumour suppressor genes. These genes prevent inappropriate cell growth by promoting cell death. This is our body's way of preventing or deleting mistakes that would lead to cancer. Cells possessing the mutated tumour suppressor genes are not able to regulate cell growth, and so cells with mistakes survive. In contrast to oncogenes, both alleles must be mutated for cancer to develop. The triggers of both these mutations can be either a tumour-inducing agent, like radiation, or can occur spontaneously. The question is, what do these triggers do? You can categorise these changes into three groups. Point mutation and deletion, gene amplification and chromosomal rearrangement. All these chromosomal changes can lead to unregulated cell proliferation. For this tutorial, the third point, chromosomal rearrangement, is the most important. We'll talk more about this under chronic myeloid leukaemia.